All right, it's been too long since we talked about Florentine. No, I know it was been like seven minutes, but never enough, never enough. And again, options, options, options. Man, I remember, Ashley, and I'm sure you do too, when we introduced Florentine at QVC and how everybody was just so in awe of this, what I call the nearly lost art of artisan leather handbags. Like you think that that can only be found in a small workshop in Europe. And for the most part, that's true. But Dooney has held tight onto tradition and frankly, a slower process. It takes time to create Florentines, which is why when I say something like more just arrived, you definitely get excited because this is not something that gets cranked out by machines super fast. And heck, even if it did, it would still take forever to get here, right? So this is called the Florentine Satchel. Saw a little image of it earlier. But we offer it in ranges of sizes. So if you're like, girl, I love me a Florentine. If I'm going to make the investment, I'm going big. Then you go with the large satchel. We also have it in a regular, read as medium, and then up here, I love the name of it. It's called the Micro. Um, oh, I love it. And obviously we just have these two colors. But again, here's my hand for sense of scale. Micro does not mean like it holds your keys and that it. that's it. It just means there's two bigger sizes. So in the Micro, we have the red, two dozen, and the black, black. And only three dozen. So my apologies, that's all we have in what we call the Micro. Now, the regular is on an easy pay of $79.60, and we offer it in micro. Okay, I'm calling it regular because I'm thinking large. <laughs> it's like movie concession popcorn. Okay, um, all right, so Ashley, you're gonna ask for your guidance on colors here. Okay, where are we starting? Right here. Oh, sorry, my screen is blocked. Okay, so this, that's going to be the cranberry. Cranberry. Or is it Bordeaux? Okay, so we have Bordeaux. I think I got it here. And we have three dozen brown tomorrow, four dozen, and then, your ivy. And then the ivy. Two dozen. Moving down, I believe we have the teal. Yes, right below that. Plum in the middle. Teal. One dozen. Here's the plum. One dozen. And then your black, black. And black, black. One dozen. All right, now we move into the big one, AKA the regular. I'm so sorry that it gets confusing. Anyway, here it is in the... Are we sure that's Bordeaux? It Bordeaux looks again. like so... Okay, so we used to have a, this bag in Cranberry and Bordeaux, and this is why I, I can't not call that Cranberry because it <laughs> no looks worries. so red on my screen. Brown Timoro, five dozen. We have Ivy. Three dozen, beneath that is the teal. One dozen, then we have the plum. Two dozen, and the black, black. Half a dozen, okay, so there's your inventory. Um, but even if you didn't pay attention to me, you got to look at all the lovely handbags. So, all right, honey, the satchel, clearly we wouldn't do this many colors and this many sizes if it wasn't popular. It's so good. And this one, I, you know, you were talking about when Florentine came to QVC. When I came to QVC, oh, this was gosh. the first bag that I got and it was fall. So this was eight years ago. I got this bag in like the medium, I guess we're calling it the, the small in this case. Yeah. Um, and I love it. I wear it all the time. I have it in a neutral color. I would get it again in a, in a pop in the micro, I think but it is about all of the bells and whistles. So like we had that Florentine earlier that was just about the leather. This one is the leather and then so much more. So you have the endless braid on the zip pool. You have the double tassels on both sides of the bag. You have the handles with the whip stitching detail that is all hand done. You have the belting details that start on the front, go around to the back of the bag, goes back to that equestrian inspired design. I mean, 
every, every time you look at this bag, like in the beginning, when you first get it, you're going to see something different. And the feet on the bottom, of course, that east west silhouette, the fact that the bag smiles. So it's meant to fold down because when you unzip it, you see that green suede that's there to have it softened so that you can carry it over the crook of your arm with those handles. If you're not using that longer shoulder strap. And this is one also that you could take out the center part so you can have the longer strap or just the shorter over the shoulder strap as well. Um, this is one where even if you're like, you know, I'm not carrying all that much today. I'm going to throw my lip gloss and my keys in this and I'm still going to walk around. It still looks it. good. <laughs> because the, you want to talk statement bag. You want to talk a bag that like you walk into the room. It kind of like, you know how they say your reputation precedes you. Your bag will precede you yes. on this one. And that's not always what a bag is about. All right. It's about function. And clearly we have capacity covered here. But in some ways, I feel like we've gotten away from letting your accessories kind of talk about you and say who you are. And I mean that in, in the case of not shouting it, but saying it qu quietly. I mean, just look at get the logo, the sheen on the leather, the structure of it. The words that come to mind are elegant, classic, life's pulled together, you know, cool girl, like whatever it is that you want to use to describe. If you think of the woman in your life who's kind of your style icon, she carries this bag and mm -hmm. that I, I feel like we're all that woman inside and we've been trained to think that, you know, you have to have a lot of things in order for that to be the case. That's not true. To have one amazing bag or one amazing anything that just makes you feel really good, kind of elevate your mood a little bit and go, you know what? I am a boss babe. And I think yes. maybe that's why when I carry a Florentine, I'm like, I do feel like a boss babe, even if internally I'm not quite there yet. It kind of helps pull you there. And does that I make sense? It does. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I mean, it's just, that's why I love fashion in general, because totally. it's putting on the things that make you feel on the inside good. You know, if it, if it doesn't make me feel like, okay, I can take on this day, I've got this, or just like feel better. Feel, like, we're not going to wear something that doesn't make us feel good. Right. So it's why I spray on perfume when I'm home by myself. Because I right. still love the smell of it. I do. I, love I put on perfume for this call over Zoom. Yes, like, I love that. Thank you. You smell great, by the way, <laughs> Ashley. It's amazing. Thank you. Um, but this is micro. I mean, come on. You see me holding it. You see the size oh, of it. Shoot. Go to QVC.com to see all of the specs on these two, because I want you to understand it's not a coin purse. It's like a legit handbag. Here yeah. it is in the red and the black in the micro. That's the only colors that we have there. This is Bordeaux, Brown Timoro, and Ivy. Beneath that is Teal then plum and black. And then we basically have the same run here, right? So Bordeaux, Timoro, that's your ivy, then teal, plum and black in the large. And there's only a half a dozen in the teal there. So again, totally acknowledging, not dancing or skipping over it, it's an investment. It is worth every single penny. It's also why we are offering nine months of interest-free special financing with your Q card. P.S. Q card shoppers, if you got one already, six easy pays on everything you shop today. Boy, that felt good to say. Still to come, two-hour show.